I guarantee you, this is not bipartisan. So let's Politics make sure. Politics the way it's played today make it very difficult for us to come together. With the political rhetoric on Capitol Hill boiling. Let us pray. There's one voice that tries to calm the waters. In the heat of debate, you can sometimes say some things that you regret. Has the partisanship, have you watched it change over your time here? When we're more polarized as a nation, there will probably be more polarization. The 61-year-old black was elected Senate chaplain in 2003, after nearly three decades in the Navy. He's the first African-American to hold the position created in 1789. Are they surprised to find you here? I think that they are surprised by what I do. Show mercy to the members. Black of this begins each session with a prayer, body. but he also officiates at special events, prays with presidents, and counsels nearly 7,000 staffers, aides, and family members on Capitol Hill. There were people who were shot in this neighborhood. Black grew up here in this Baltimore neighborhood in the 1950s. He credits his survival to his mother, who by herself raised him and his seven brothers and sisters with a strong spiritual foundation. And this was just an amazing environment to worship. As a Seventh-day Adventist, he was required to spend Saturday in church and could not listen to mainstream music or go to movie theaters. So what was it like growing up and having to say to other kids, you know, sorry, I'm not going to go to the movies? Which... Well, uh, we didn't have very much money anyway, so it would have been tough. Black says church members saw his potential and gave him odd jobs to keep him out of trouble. That sense of community helps guide him on Capitol Hill. So do you see yourself a, a little bit as an ambassador from the margin? And an advocate, uh, a, a voice for the voiceless. Black believes his influence is in his actions, not just his words. I think in just being who I am and living the biblical principles that I know, I'm able to make a positive impact on people. A message he learned in one building and hope spreads in another. John Dickerson, CBS News, Washington.